Hi, this is Dr. Desmond Y from the Desmond Y Liver and Gastro Center. My website is www.drdesmondwai.com. Um, today, I want to talk about a patient with a high CA99. So CA99 is categorized as a tumor marker. In certain tumor in us, it can be elevated. So often in patients with a bowel duct cancer that can be within the liver or outside the liver, patient with a gallbladder cancer, patient with pancreatic cancer, the C99 can be elevated. So that's why we call it a tumor marker. Unfortunately, many benign conditions can also lead to a high C99. In someone that have a bowel duct blockage, not caused by cancer, but caused by say a narrowing or a, a stone, which is, which is more common causes of, uh, of, of a narrowing of the bowel duct, not pancreatic cancer, okay? When there's bowel duct stricture, the C99 can be elevated. C99 can also be found in the stomach, uh, in, the, uh, in the colon, as well as in the gynecological part, such as our pelvis, such as the pelvic organ, the ovary, and the womb. So in somebody with, say, a pelvic inflammatory disease, endometriosis, or uh, ovarian mass, they can have a high C99. People having gastritis, can also have a high C99. People having cancer in the stomach or the colon can also have a high C99. So in other words, C99 can be up in cancer of the pancreas and the biliary tree, as well as the stomach and the colon. But C99 can also be elevated in a, a, a benign condition of the same system, in the digestive tract, in the hepatobiliary system, and in the gynecological tract, any even benign diseases can lead to a high C99. So the, actually, um, we do not recommend uh, doing C99 when you have no symptoms. So how do we use it? For example, in someone, if someone had a mass in the pancreas on the scan, we worry whether the mass is a cancer or a benign tumor, we do a C99. If it is markedly elevated, then we are worried that the mass in the pancreas may be a pancreatic cancer or somebody had a lesion uh, in the gallbladder. We don't know whether it's a benign polyp or it has turned malignant. We then use a C99 to give us a probability whether it is more likely to be benign or more likely to be malignant. Other than that, we do not really use C99 in our daily clinical practice. But if you have no symptom, you do a C99 that is elevator, then we have a problem. Can it be caused by cancer, say early cancer in the pancreas, early cancer in the gallbladder? Early stomach cancer is possible. I've been in the line long enough, I graduated in 1994, uh, close to 30 years of a clinical experience. I, do, I have seen a few cancer diagnosed because of high C99 done during health screening. So if somebody comes in with a high C99, I dare not say it is nonsense, you'll be fine. I would normally say that the chance of you having cancer in the pancreatic and the biliary system in the stomach and the colon are extremely small because by proportion, from my experience, less than 1% will turn out to have cancer. 99% you're going to be fine. So, uh, but it is up, we can choose two things. We can choose to repeat the cancer marker three, four months later. If we keep going up, then we say, hey, it may not be a benign condition. Maybe it's a cancer. But if it's stable or drop, then we say, if it's a cancer, it can only go up. If it goes down, it's probably not cancer. So this option one, observation and repeat the C99 three to five, three to four months later. The second probability we can do, second possibility that we can do is to evaluate aggressively. The two ways to evaluate, we can do a PET CT scan to look for any cancer everywhere. The problem is not all the cancer can be shown up on the PET scan. And besides that, even benign condition like infection can also be shown up positive on the PET scan. Alternatively, we check the organ one by one, like we do a scope to check the stomach, a colonoscopy to check the large intestine. We do a MRI or CT of the liver, pancreas, and the bowel duct, and to look for any cancer. So, um, but to sum up, we don't really recommend a normal person with no symptom to do a C99 because it's just not cost effective. Yes, we do pick up some, uh, been, uh, some early asymptomatic cancer in the pancreas or the gallbladder, once a while, but that is very rare. Most of the time, uh, we can't find a cause. Or is it caused by endometriosis in the pelvis or gastritis in the stomach? The chance of picking up cancer is very, very small. Uh, in fact, 
under the Health Promotion Board website, under most treatment guidelines, uh, we doctors do not recommend doing CA99 unless there is a reason to do so, like following up a known cancer, looking for the response to treatment, and uh, use it to follow up to look for any recurrence of cancer. So to sum up, um, if you have a choice, do not choose to do a C99 unless you have a good reason to do so. Look for a qualified family physician to do your annual health checkup. They will normally check a mammogram and pap smear if you are female and you, are, or you have been sexually active for, for the pap smear. We do a fecal blood testing, FOBT or FIT, fecal immunochemical test if you are more than 50 years old in Singapore. Uh, we check for chronic illnesses like diabetes, hypertension, lipidemia, your obesity, etc. And I'm sure healthcare SG will cover all these. So be besides this, if you have no symptoms, we do not recommend doing a cancer, cancer marker screening because the yield is very low, it will cause unnecessary worry. Uh, one little problem is that uh, sometimes uh, it, can, it can affect your insurability. I shall talk about that in the next video. Thank you for listening. This is Dr. Desmond White.